Oh, hi guys, back up London. Back up BB. Oh, the rooster's calling. Hudson and London are American paint horses and they're just babies. So we've had lots of questions on if we've been riding them or if they're wearing saddles, who's going to break the horses if they're broke yet. And they're just babies. So they're just about eight and nine months, eight and a half, nine and a half months old. So they're too little to ride them yet, but in a couple of years we'll be able to. So far, they're just learning some new skills, how to get around their property. And for right now, because it's winter, they're just in our little round pen since they arrived early. But we have some big plans to make them a couple of paddocks in the springtime so they can have all the space they want. But they've been doing really good learning their new routine and getting used to our homestead. And we love having them. Best decision we ever made. Right, Hudson? Oh. <laughs> Ever. I don't think you answered who's gonna break the horses on. Oh, this is true. So <laughs> it's something we're gonna do together. We're still a long ways away. We're so far, like they're not even a year almost. old. We're not. We're not even thinking we're gonna get on them for another two years at least. But for now, we're bonding. We're doing a lot of sensitivity training, which they had a lot before they got here. But there's so much to learn when they come to a new property. He's like, I'm ready to go get green slum. This is the spot that I've been dreaming of making our raised garden beds. And the reason I think it'll be great here is because we get full sun here pretty much the entire day. But I'm thinking of doing raised beds around the perimeter, some in the interior. And then because we know that our septic is like underneath, I'm going to do a raised bed on either side of where that deep spot is right there. So that if we ever had to access that to have anything pumped out down the road in years, nothing's covering over top of it having an arch sort of trellis that goes for something to grow on over top so it can you can still go underneath and we can fill that hole back in and then having some raised beds along here some of the supplies for the garden i think will be great if somehow on this side we incorporate the shed out of this main area so basically going to use the spot that we used for the chickens last year to be able to have a spot to organize all of the raised beds in the main veggie garden. Gate here from the garden, be able to get over to this area where I could put some gardening stuff in pots, like larger, maybe some tomatoes and even some peppers and stuff in pots over here. I have a pathway that gets me to the front of the garden for the wheelbarrow, things like that. I'll put it in here. Not a bad idea. Back here, clear this up a bit. And... Up a bit. So the is gonna go. You can see where the old existing fencing was at the top of the hill here. Yeah. Our property line goes there, right? Yeah. So our fencing would go all the way down and around. Some of this like old brush stuff we plan on clearing anyways. So maybe the shed could go right here and then just a really cute pathway to the back of the greenhouse and then over to the garden. Oh, I like it. That's pretty. I don't want to take any space out of where we're going to build paddocks at the front. We have plans for paddocks one and two. We've drawn up like a blueprint of the property on where we want our paddocks for the horses to go. So I don't want to take up any space that's going to be utilized for that. For a shed, right? Right. Good morning, ladies. Just having a little bit of breakfast. I just came to check to see if we have any eggs. And we do. Ooh, we have two really nice warm eggs i wanted to show you just how absolutely beautiful some of the eggs are that we've gotten this week so we went from getting absolutely zero eggs zero eggs to all of these beautiful pink and green ones we have a little bit of like creamy white ones at the top and then just in the past four days we have got all of these eggs my absolute favorite ones are these really orangey brown ones. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And then every once in a while we get one of these really almost burgundy pink ones. And it's maybe really hard to see on camera, but it is a deeper color than some of our lighter pink ones that we get. Those ones are my favorite. 
I would love to have some copper moran so we could get some that are the color of this apron, but we don't have any of those yet. But one day I'll add a really deep color to our egg selection. I cannot tell you how excited I am that growing season is officially here. Even though we can't plant outside, we luckily built our greenhouse last year, which will allow us to get starter seeds started so much earlier than if we wouldn't have put in that time and work into that project. We are also gonna start some seeds indoors and see if we can get a little bit of leg up on our shorter growing season that we have here in Nova Scotia. We're gonna plant some things this year that we've never planted before, and we're gonna plant some things that we have had really good success with, and we're going to plant a few things that have been a little bit of trial and error Everything we plant this year is going to be a learning curve. We're in a brand new province. We have a completely different growing zone. So we're gonna do our traditional go big or go home on our garden plans and hope that we get as much yield as we possibly can. Because this pantry is empty and it's not going to fill itself. And we wanna be able to supply produce for our family of four for the entire year from the yields from our garden. We plan on implementing raised garden beds and last year we built a greenhouse to be able to start all of our starter seeds. Last year we planted 3,000 sunflower seeds and basically fed the birds. So this year we're definitely going to have to plant them in the house first or in the greenhouse and then get them in the ground. That way we can eliminate feeding all of those birds. So I plan on growing a few different varieties. I think it's going to be really fun to just see how these grow here in Nova Scotia. We have always grown sunflowers flowers and they're one of our favorite things to grow not to mention a great snack for our chickens in the fall I really have never been able to successfully grow pumpkins we had a backyard and we didn't have enough room to be able to grow any type of pumpkins so this year we're going to grow some just regular jack-o-lantern pumpkins we're going to grow some white pumpkins and we're gonna do these large Atlantic pumpkins I'm so excited to see how giant these can grow and we have four acres so these can grow wild wherever they wish and hopefully we can get some large pumpkins to put near the barn in the fall. Every season we grow many different varieties of tomatoes and this year won't be any different. We plan on doing a lot of canning and preserving and tomatoes are a great way for us to be able to can our own tomato sauces, tomato paste, pizza sauce, salsas, spaghetti sauce, all different types of recipes we will need tomatoes for. So we're going to grow about 10 different varieties and see what grows best here in Nova Scotia. We also want to make sure we have lots of broccoli and cauliflower growing. It's something that we like to enjoy all year round. And the prices of cauliflower and broccoli have absolutely soared this year. And so I think it's definitely a good way for us to save money on groceries every week by having some that we could blanch and put in the freezer. So broccoli and cauliflower, top of our list this year. I absolutely love growing potatoes and I have not yet grown them here in Nova Scotia. And so I've already asked my local stores, when are we going to get potato seeds in? I want to get garlic, different types of onions and potatoes in the ground of many different colors and be able to grow plenty to store in the pantry for the winter. I think it is so fun to grow zucchinis. I love seeing all of the yellow flowers. And in addition to that, we want to have as many pollinators attracted to our acreage as possible since we planted pear and apple trees last year. So I want to make sure that we're growing many things in the garden that we'll need pollinators for and being able to see the beautiful yellow flowers that come with zucchinis and, and squashes is going to be awesome to add color to our garden as well. Carrots, lettuces, all different types of mixes of peas and beans are going to be a great addition to add to our recipes. In addition to, again, having some food that we can dry for our feed, for our hens to help supplement some of our homemade feed. We're also going to attempt to grow some sweet corn. I think it's really fun and we've always done the pictures every year where our children's height are grown to how tall we've been able to grow corn even when we had a backyard at our old house. We're also going to grow several varieties of peppers. Peppers are going to go in plenty of our recipes and I absolutely love seeing them grow and change color over the season. And I think it's so neat to grow different varieties and just do the taste test as we go. We always like to grow them in different heats as well so we can put them in salsas and different recipes that need a little extra heat. Asparagus takes a long time to start growing on your property and so this year I'm going to get asparagus started and see how long it will take us to have any yields from that. I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge here in the types of soil that we have but I'm willing to give it a try so I'm going to plant some asparagus 
And we always have great success when working with cucumbers. And I think that we're gonna grow a few different styles this year and just kind of see what we get. Again, working with a new province, we have completely different climates and timeframes for when we need to plant things. So everything that we're planting this year is going to be a learning curve. We're also going to try something this year that I think is so much fun. I'm pretty sure we will be very popular with our local squirrels, but we're gonna give it a try. Peanuts, tell me, have you grown these before? How cool is that? We're gonna try some peanuts in the garden this year for the first time. But last but not least, on this week's list of what we're going to grow in the garden, we're going to grow some kale and we're going to grow a few different types of spinach. Having lots of kale, spinach, and lettuce is a great supplement for the animals if we also don't get through it ourselves. And even though we can't really store it over the winter, I still think it's so nice to have growing in the garden. It doesn't take up that much space and we can grow and have things from it all season long while we enjoy barbecues and salads and things. It's always nice to go hand pick something from the garden and be able to eat it right on the spot. If you have any other ideas on things that you think that you love growing that are a must for us to add to our list this year, please let me know. Tomorrow we are back in the pantry space. We have some of the renovation of this room to finish up. You saw that we were able to finish the laundry room side with our sink, our fridge, and our built-in vacuum garage, but the other side of the pantry has yet to be finished. We need to finish building all of the doors for this space and our hinge system for our hidden freezer that will be here in our pantry. While I'm preparing things for the garden and finishing up the renovation here in the pantry room, we were really looking around and trying to figure out exactly what types of jars and storage and everything we're going to need to can and preserve. The cost of things has gone up astronomically for how it's going, how much it costs to be able to buy things like mason jars. So if you have any tips for me on where I can get some that are a lot cheaper or even other solutions to use rather than just those, please let me know in the comment section because at the end of the season, we will do an update on this pantry and I hope that I can show you that this entire side space, including our wall built in pantry is completely stocked with food for our family for the winter. It is Sunday and we have the boys home today. So today our project together as a family is going to be planting all of our starter seeds. We're going to be doing some fun ways to use recyclables and a few little garden growing hacks that we learned this year that we've researched to be able to grow and get some of our seeds started. We'll update you this week when we get a few sprouts. I think it'll be a really fun project for the boys to work on today on our home day. I love you. Thank you so much for cheering us on. Don't forget to leave a comment down below on what you're growing in your garden and ways that you think I can do all of my storage for my canning and preserving here in the pantry space. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode because we are back to renovating the inside of the house over the course of this week. We'll have to see if the weather cooperates, but tomorrow we are inside. It's going to be minus 15 and we'll definitely be so happy to get this pantry space done so we can start filling it up.